Hi guys, it's Wombats and today's video is a relatively short one. It is my map setup for ETS2. Now I've never done that before for ETS2 so I figured it was about time to do it. And the current version of ETS2 that I'm doing this on is version 1.30.2.6. Now, before we dive into the maps I have installed, I want to point out that you will need all the SCS map DLCs available for this. And then if we start here with Pro Mods, it is version 2.26. As you can see, it is all over the map. It's in the east, it's in the west, it's in the north, and it's in the south. It's everywhere. Then we have Rust Map version 1.8 installed together with Southern Region version 6.5 and the Great Step version 1.0.3. And then we have Project Balkans installed, which I haven't had in a while. And the reason I have it is that the last map, the map of Turkey for Pro Mods, requires the Project Balkans 2.7. To be installed so that is basically my europe installation uh, there is one more map installed and that is the pj indo version 2.3 i had to put it somewhere and it it ended up on this profile you can either ignore it or install it together with the rest of them doesn't really matter so before we dive into the setup i just want to say that I have all my maps at the bottom of the active mods and at the top I have everything else. That's something that has been working for me for a very long time, so I'm sticking to it. And with that said, the first mod is the PJ Indo map version 2.3. It's a very easy installation, it's just one file and I have put it at the very bottom you can install it and activate it if you like or you can ignore it doesn't matter for the rest of the maps it's completely independent of everything else next up is the great step version 1.0.3 and the very file at the very bottom then is the models file followed by the map file and the def file. Def is the definitions. Uh, once you have the model map and def files installed in the order you see here, you can move on to the southern region files. The loading order of these files are very similar to Great Step. You start with the model files followed by definitions uh, and map and in this case it is model 1 at the bottom model 2 is next and last one is model 3 and then the combined definitions and map file i have also installed a southern region english file which translates all the city names in the southern region map to english I need them because I do not know Cyrillic and to make any sense of anything I need to have it in English. So the file is optional, I use it, you don't have to, but it is there. Then we come to the most interesting thing I guess and that is the ProMods files. And the first file to install is the ProMods assets package followed by the ProMods media package. And then the models file uh, package 3, followed by package 2, package 1, and then the ProMods map package. Now ProMods comes with a few additional files that is placed on top of that. Uh, and that is the uh, ProMods 2.25 and Rust Map 1.8 map file um, and the ProMods definitions package. Uh, but as you can see, you have several other maps 
in between those files and pro mods and in case you do not install rustmap obviously you will not need this file the pro mods 225 plus rustmap 1.8 connections file uh, so it's i guess it's optional uh, anyway you have other files in between pro mods and these two files so let's go through that as well uh, it's uh, the uh, southern region connections file and the uh, sorry the rebuilding file and the pro mods to southern region ferry connections files now what the rebuilding file does i'm not entirely sure but you need it so install it and then you have as i said the, the ferry connections file and you can probably swap the these two files it probably doesn't matter which one comes first but this is an order that works for me so i'm just gonna stick with it next up is rust map which installs in a slightly different order than than most other files uh, it starts uh, in most cases as you can see with with media models and then moves to map and definitions but in rust map case first file you install is the rustmap definition package or the rustmap def package sorry package then followed by the media package the model 2 and the map file and then second to last we have the project balkans assets assets package and then the project balkans map package and finally the project balkans definition or def package and then finally the yks team eu turkey maps or the uh, map of turkey for pro mods as it's called here you start off with the model one file followed by model two the map file itself and then finally the definitions file and there you have it my entire installation of maps now one incredibly important thing about the project balkans definition package file is that when you download the turkey map it comes with its own version of this file now if you fail to install the version of the project balkans definitions files that came with the turkey map your installation will not work so it is important that if you download balkans and then add those balkans files to your mod folder and then download the turkey map that you allow the turkey files to overwrite the project balkans definitions package files now obviously if you first download the turkey map and add that to the mods folder and then download the project balkans files and add them to the mods folder you will you have to tell windows to not overwrite the uh, existing uh, definitions files that the project balkans mod is trying to install again if you do you will not have a working map setup like i have here uh, one thing worth mentioning about my setup is this zoom file it is there simply because without it you won't be able to to go through your entire map or to zoom around uh, so that you can see your entire map uh, so that, that is a file I recommend uh, promos also comes with some accessories and cargo trailer maps uh, sorry packs uh, the installation order of those files you see here they are not part of the maps uh, you don't have to install them but they are here and if you want to use them this is the order for them and on top of them i have the rest of my mods currently installed 
but again, it's, it's uh, not what this video is about. And the most important thing about that is that you, again, place the maps at the very bottom and everything else at the top. Now, my map mod, mod installation isn't perfect. I, for instance, have a huge hole here. There is no Ukraine. I wish there was, but at the moment there isn't. Uh, I'm not trying to make the biggest map possible. For instance, I do not have the um, uh, Paris rebuilt installed, uh, neither do I have the Poland uh, rebuilt installed. Uh, and that's because I'm quite busy anyway uh, going through the things I have here. Uh, and I'm not in Paris that much. And honestly, I'm sorry guys, but I'm not in Poland either that much. So, um, yeah. So while we take my Mitsubishi Fuso super great for a spin in southern region, there's a couple of other things I think is worth mentioning. The first one is probably going to be the fact that when the Baltic Sea DLC comes out, promos will stop working. That's a fact. It's inevitable. And the same goes for whenever SCS makes a uh, rather big upgrade of of uh, ETS 2 and that could be like right now we're on version 130 and when version 1 say 140 is out it usually breaks something within either pro mods or some of the other map mods and in effect that means you will not be able to load your game so a couple of uh, things to keep an eye on here whenever that happens is uh, the promods.net forum and the forum.scssoft.com uh, most if not all then at least most of these maps have dedicated pages on possibly both or at least one of these two forums uh, with information about uh, latest development, latest versions of the mods and the correlation to the current ETS version available. So they are a gold mine and you will, when you add this many maps, you will have to keep an eye on them. That is me driving like an idiot. Come on. Oh, Jesus. Come on, baby. Oh, come on, come on. Ah, oh, yes, 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 yes. <clears throat> anyway, I'm not very good at driving and talking at the same time. Uh, where was I? Right, updates of ETS. Um, whenever a version comes out where something fails um, and as I said with Baltics promos will stop to work uh, basically you will not be able to to load your profile and the next problem then is that when promos have updated to a version compatible with the Baltics DLC you will probably find that some of your other map mods that have dependencies to pro mods will stop working. So even if pro mods correct the, the problem, your profile will still not load because as soon as you install the newer version of pro mods, some other map stops working and your profile won't uh, load. So that is something you have to take into consideration that that when a major upgrade or addition of some kind is coming it will break your profile for a while uh, and that that's one of the main reasons I'm running a ton of different profiles simply because I, I I'm not keen on changing anything on my or doing something radical with my fully working uh, map configuration on the profile I use for all my Europe maps. 
because it can at times be a pain in the ass to get it back again in the right order because if you start altering it and swapping maps in and out the, it could take months before they start working again so even if you do take a picture of everything or write everything down you might easily lose that picture or the piece of paper where you wrote the loading order uh, down so I tend to just leave it as it is and drive on my other profiles while I wait for all my maps to be upgraded uh, and have the same uh, and be compatible again and speaking of upgrading map mods uh, I saw a question where a guy asked if it was possible to just download the upgraded version add it to the mods folder and expect everything to work again and the answer is no that won't work. Uh, in 95% of the cases the the uh, map mods have the map mod name and to that they have the version added which means that Pro Mods 2.25 uh, had exactly that 2.25 added to the file names which meant that when I downloaded ProMods 2.26 all the files for ProMods 2.26 was just added to the mod folder they were not activated but the good thing here is that it's very very easy to swap the files out uh, what I normally do is I just take them one by one and add them next to the other file I have with the same file name um, with the exception of the version number of course and then just swap them out one by one. In the description for this video I have in most cases just added a link to that mods page on the either promods.net or forum.scsoft.com and in some cases the mod has a page on both both those uh, forums and if I'm aware of it I have added both links you know those cases and as I said keep an eye on the forums um, there will be times when your profile breaks you won't be able to load it and the answer to any question you may have about that is found on these two forums possibly with a couple of uh, couple of um, exceptions uh, i'm not sure that the map of turkey for instance actually have a promods.net or forum.scsoft.com page but all the other maps do have that uh, so check them out and with that said thank you very much for watching guys I hope I have been of some help at least and if I haven't or if anything is unclear please let me know in the comments um, thank you for watching take care guys bye bye oh.